Hi everybody, today I'm just going to show you a little quick video about basic paper marbling. So I had in a previous video shown you my basic paper marbling setup, the tools I use, etc. So before I start, I'm going to quickly skim the surface of the size with some newspaper. So I don't leave it there for any amount of time and then I just bring it up on the edge. Oh dear, made a mess. Make a mess, clean it up. So now let's add some paint. What colours? I don't mind. I I tend to go a bit whatever with the flow, how I'm feeling. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can use two colours, three colours, all of the colours. And I'm not even thinking about a major pattern. I'm just going for it because they're colourful and I love the different colours in the Jacquard Marbling Range. Okay. See, I'm not holding it too high. And I'm not holding it too close. Probably just uh, about an inch or two above the surface, just so that we can have a little bit of control. What about some orange? Let's go some orange. Yeah. This is very bright and colourful. It's a really nice, not a warm day today, but at least it's sunny. Because I think we're getting a lot of rain over in Brisbane and Queensland for summer and um, spring this year. So that's no good. We don't mind water, but we've had enough rain and water already this year, if people know Brisbane and Queensland, and you poor New South Wales as well. All right, I'm just going to add some purple, like it, and a tiny little bit of black. Black will tend to spread out really quickly, so I'm just going to barely put much on. Okay, just to add some depth to it. See, there's nothing, no rhyme or reason really of how I was putting this on. Then I've got my very expensive tool here. There we go. Just do something vertically and then horizontally. I'm not doing it too fast. If I go too fast, I tend to lose control and it'll keep moving as well. And at any time when you're doing basic paper marbling, you can stop. Like if you find that really cool and you want to print that off, then stop and print that off. But what I'm going to do now is use this lovely comb here with off, offset little teeth and I'm just going to drop and do a tight 360 and then you can see that it's made these little sort of swirls, little horse tails and let's do that quickly there. And then we've got these nice patterns. So then I grab my A4 piece of paper and normally, and my students will vouch for me, that I'm holding it in both hands and not letting go in the middle. But I can't while I'm taking the film. So I'm just going to pick one end and put it down slowly and give it a tap. Let that colour soak in. And then I've got my roasting pan to lift it up on so it doesn't um, drip everywhere. So let's lift that up. Oh, look at those colours. Jacquard marbling colours really, really shine through here. Look at that. So we don't want drips on the floor because that means people will slip and that's not good. So I take this out here into the beautiful sunlight. I'm going to pin it on my laundry rack, which is really helpful to do and with one hand. But anyway, I'll let that sit there for the moment and then I'll pin it when I've got a chance. But look at those colours. Isn't that beautiful? Just love it. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you and I'll be making more videos in the next coming days. Have a great one, guys. Bye.